Uh, greetings, Gemini, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all well, and let's see what the oracles have uh, from the ancestors for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. And thank you for your support and uh, your comments, and let's see what the cards have. Well, the night, be brave and honest. Well, that is the energy coming to you, uh, Gemini, today. There could be a situation where you're going to be called on to be brave and to speak your truth, to be honest, and to uh, realize that, you know, roses have thorns uh, because there is such a beauty around this feeling you're having. Um, and it's coming with the hunter because you get, need to track down your fears and desires at this time. You have that powerful um, energy uh, to hunt uh, for those passions uh, and dreams and fears, uh, but you're going to be brave and honest about what it is you're facing now. And so let's get some information uh, from the cards on what it is that you need to know that will support you in bravery and honesty, but also allow you to hunt uh, with that powerful energy of the uh, totem animal um, to go toward facing your fears and tracking down what it is you truly desire. And uh, this is what I have for you, Gemini, that is coming for you at this time. You come into the reading with this energy of the hangman. Well, that's Pisces energy. You're releasing and sacrificing perhaps an old way of being to see something from a new perspective. And this could be um, part of that ability to release your fears and to be brave and honest about what needs to let go. And you can see this illumination um, this is connected to the Christ image of surrender to the higher power. And to this could be taking time out. You could be just hanging around, waiting for others and needing to be brave and honest in that situation. Because what is coming is this bold energy. Uh, so this is a kind of opposite energy. The um, hangman could be hanging out, waiting. But then you've got this young energy. It could be connected to someone younger than you, uh, Gemini, who has this vision. They want to boldly go out, out with the old, in with the new. And you're um, having to maybe face some of your fears and anxieties about that. But a new opportunity is coming uh, to grow your wealth, to be fired up about this new opportunity, and to feel this offering coming. And you're going to uh, track your desires, what you want to plant, what you want to work on now. Because you're seeing this uh, bold energy, this travel, this new beginning with a new opportunity. Because in the recent past, there was a wake-up call. Maybe the alarm went off, a shock, a sudden revelation that you had to see, wow, I've got to uh, come up out of uh, the dead. I have to come up out of my old life and see something new from a new perspective and to uh, judge, evaluate, appraise my past actions, to be brave and honest with that because you're seeing it from a new perspective uh, and it's coming with deep feelings. Uh, the king of cups, you're able to stay emotionally balanced at the crown, that's what you're downloading now, this deep feelings about your situation of what is being released of what is this opportunity that's coming in. But you're going to be stable and use your intelligence to take this opportunity, uh, uh, Gemini, and move forward with it boldly and grow it and know you have a lot of energy. You have two pages, so there's a lot of new beginning. After you sacrifice an old perspective, you're going to move forward with passion uh, toward a new project, toward something that is exciting and a new message is coming in that's going to bring you an opportunity. Uh, and another page, wow, of cups. So you've got three pages in a row, so this could involve people that you're connecting to of the um, Sagittarius energy, uh, Pisces uh, energy. Uh, but of the fire of the earth, a Capricorn, a Virgo, Gemini, and Cancer, um, Scorpio, 
Pisces energy, uh, where you're going after, you're communicating, you're learning about uh, this bold energy that you want to develop this potential opportunity, a new investment idea, and something you love that's going to be very imaginative and take uh, your intuition because you're uh, sensing in your environment the influence is someone has a heavy burden, they're carrying a heavy load. And maybe you're offering them something more uh, relaxing, uh, just an opportunity to rest, to have a, a good time, to enjoy uh, something they love doing. And you're gonna release that burden uh, that's influencing you from the past. And you know that the hope and fear was this tower moment, perhaps something uh, came crashing down and that was part of the judgment call. You woke up to it. And you were very balanced and emotionally strong. Uh, and this is closing out an old a cycle for you. Well, when the tower comes, if the structure was not built on a firm foundation or it was divine necessity that this happened, so you can come into this whole new world, Gemini, this completion, and you're waking up to that, a new beginning, and you're going to be successful and recognized. Um, and you're going to let go of anything uh, that is needing to crash down because it was too much of a burden, perhaps, that the environment had to uh, shoulder. And it's, you're going to see it, Gemini, with a more imaginative, artistic energy, what it is that you want to grow and build. And you have all the emotional intelligence to do so and to uh, create this new opportunity and take it out and be bold and be confident because you're seeing it from a whole new perspective, uh, a more enlightened perspective perhaps. Because you've been hunting, you're the hunter, tracking down your fears and desires so you can be the knight for this situation. Uh, with the tower coming down, you're going to be uh, brave and honest. And that's what I have, Gemini, powerful energies. And the universe wants you to know this. And this is coming to you in the next uh, two to three weeks. You will feel this fulfillment of whatever it is you're seeing uh, from a new perspective. And that's what I have, Geminis. See you next time, and thank you for your support. Bye-bye.